Many kids go off to college dreaming of their first. The first football game, the first midterm, the first time having to do their own laundry, even the first frat party. The most crucial and arguably the most influential first is the first time having a roommate. Students have to adapt to many changes, including living in a dorm room with what could be a complete stranger. Everyone wants the ideal roommate, but how do you become the perfect roommate? An ideal roommate is compatible, responsible, honest, tolerant, and there has to be a strong bond of two-way communication between the roommates. Students face a lot of stress when coping with their classes and handling a new environment. As a result of this, students want a roommate that can be understanding. They want someone who they can be comfortable around. Living with someone who has similar interests would help them to be more understanding and would also help to avoid conflict. Someone who is compatible with the student will have the same study habits and expectations for a roommate. This will help make the transition to college and living in a tiny room with a stranger so much easier. Living with a lazy and irresponsible person will be disastrous and could ruin the entire freshman experience. A lazy roommate who does not help pick up or never does their laundry would be enough to drive anyone crazy. It would be even worse if there was a loss of trust between the roommates. As their roommate, there would be no peace of mind which could corrupt their focus on studies. A good attitude and behavior is key to becoming an ideal roommate. Roommates must also be tolerant. You have to be willing to compromise when conflict inevitably arises. Being a tolerant roommate can also be the best way to avoid conflict. For example, a tolerant roommate would not get upset when the other roommate has to stay up late finishing a paper or finish studying for an exam. They would understand that they value their grades and could just turn away from the light. Being tolerant also shows that the roommates can compromise, which is extremely important. Effective two-way communication is an essential element in order to be an ideal roommate. If any conflicts were to arise, they would be easy to solve because the roommates both obtain good communication skills. It is important to let the roommate know how you are feeling, but you have to do it in a way that is not attacking them, no matter how frustrated you might be. The more roommates verbally attack each other, the more defensive they are going to be, which will only cause more issues. It is important to try and listen to your roommate without getting defensive or interrupting. The only way you are going to get past conflicts is by saying how you feel in a respectful way. Having good, strong, two-way communication between roommates can prevent many arguments and will help you become the perfect roommate. Living with a complete stranger while having all new life experiences can be very intimidating. Finding and becoming an ideal roommate by following these four easy steps will help make the first year of college that much more bearable.